Hi, Pisces. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you're new here. So we're going to go ahead and do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to see here what comes up here for you, Pisces, your current situation in your love life. Um, could be a relationship, could just be, you know, whatever comes up here, whatever spirit has for you. So just take what resonates, just take what fits with you, and keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, um, sometimes energy can be interchangeable, so it could pick up on someone that you are dealing with, and like how, what's going on with them and their own life, so just take what's going to resonate. Alright, so let's jump into it here. So Spirit, please tune us in to the energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. What is the energy and Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Anybody who needs these messages, what's going on in their love life, their current situation in love? There is also going to be an extended version to this reading. If you feel like it's your story, if you feel like you resonate with it, the link is going to be down below. And we'll go more in depth and see how does somebody on your mind or whoever comes up, um, if someone comes up in this reading, how they feel about you, what they want to say to you, and then also look at your own advice and journey. Okay, so let's see, Spirit. Please show us the messages for Pisces here in their love life. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Star. Queen of Cups reversed. The Hanged Man reversed. And let's get one more. The Strength card. <clears throat> okay. So some of you could be <clears throat> at a place right now with the Two of Wands in which you feel like there is an indecision. You know, maybe you have a connection around you um, that is an indecision. At the bottom of this deck, when I shuffled, we do have this clock here too. Need time, takes time, time to heal. So we also have the Hanged Man. So some of you could be currently in a place where you're trying to, um, kind of similar to Cancer in a way, but you could be trying to, to um, gather yourself emotionally, balance yourself. Queen of Cups in reverse coming up here. Um, it does seem like there's been some healing for you or there is an ongoing healing process in your love life currently. And again, I feel like with the Two of Wands, there may be this um, kind of almost limbo mode here or indecision indecision, or kind of just being at a standstill. And I feel like with the Hanged Man Reverse, something will shift when it comes to um, a change here coming in the wind or a different perspective being gained on a situation or a relationship. So let's confirm a little bit here. Let's see. We have the not today. So some of you could be avoiding a conversation. It may be that you feel like you don't want to speak to somebody or someone could be avoiding you. You know, this may be boundaries that are being instilled here. Avoiding a conversation, not dealing, hurt. Um, tell me a little bit more, Spirit. Pisces. We have yeah, self-indulgence here. So focus on self, self-worth, time to heal. So yeah, I feel like this this definitely is it with the star coming up here too, the, the hanged man, the queen of cups, we have karmic relationship. For some of you, there has been a karmic relationship here that has been um, involved. You know, maybe you've been in a karmic partnership or someone that you're connecting to has been in a karmic relationship. And I feel like this is um, actually at the bottom here too, we do have past life connection. So it does say karmic as well, karmic and faded. So yeah, I feel like this could be a karmic relationship that you've been having to, to deal with for some of you here, Pisces, and someone's been really having to focus on uh, the healing with the star. Seems like it's already been done though. You know, let's see, tell us about... Let's see, Pisces, what else? Yeah, making healthy choices in love. We do have twin flames coming up. 
So when I see this kind of combination, you know, karmic relationship, twin flames, I think this came up for Taurus a little bit as well. It does seem like there's this balancing of the yin and yang, you know, maybe for some of you coming into a balanced partnership, a twin flame connection, you could be on the twin flame journey. Um, and it seems again with healthy choices here, self-indulgence, focus on the self. Um, some of you may have felt like you were being taken advantage of or your emotions here, queen of cups reverse. You've had to pull that back within you, pull the energy back within yourself to focus on that. Um, and again, with the hanged man also, this seems like an awakening is happening in your love life or in a current connection. Um, Again, I feel like with this not today, not dealing hurt, still angry, it seems like this could be that you've taken yourself away from a connection or you've kind of, you know, diverted your attention. You're trying to maybe hold your strength here when it comes to this situation. Um, again, having to maybe hold back when it comes to temptations. Again, this could be somebody else too. They could be going through this. And I feel like with this Twin Flames, um, it seems like this is, uh, again, kind of coming into some type of balance here but right now currently it's all about making healthier choices being happy with the self here for you or your person as well um, yeah definitely I feel some of you we have the mirror here so again this could be a mirroring type of connection um, Hmm. Let me see something here. For some of you, I'm getting this is somebody who you've either been getting to know or you have someone on your mind currently. And maybe this was like um, with the romance blooming, it felt like with the star, there was a lot of hope here in this connection. But again, someone feels like maybe they're kind of at a crossroads or they're not ready. They have to take time to focus on themselves before they really jump into something with you or vice versa. Um, but it seems like moving forward, there is going to be an opportunity here for you to have some type of friendship or maybe a meeting, meeting for coffee, meeting for a drink, um, or just really savoring the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, coming out of hanged man's energy, coming out of this limbo or time of needing to retreat or withdraw or heal. Um, so this could go a couple of different ways, but I feel for many of you, it's just been a temporary pause and, a, and maybe a delay or stagnation because either you have already met somebody and there's romance blooming, you know, maybe somebody has expressed that they like you or you have interest in somebody, um, but someone needs to focus on themselves here in order to be prepared for this, in order to take this opportunity to build this friendship or relationship. Uh, that could definitely be for some of you. And it could be that you even could be closing out a karmic relationship and then moving towards a more fulfilling love with the star here whether you've met them or not yet some of you have already met this person or you will um and it seems like it's it's a hope like it's a hope it feels very hopeful it feels like a a connection or a situation that can bring hope after a time where things have been maybe a bit um you know not so good or or a bit um um whatever the word is I'm looking for, just hasn't been in a good energy with the karmic relationship, not today, self-indulgence. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And it feels like there's going to be an opportunity though for, for this to come in. Um, we have the runner. Yeah, it's like, I feel like Someone's been over replaying things in their head over and over again and, and maybe repeating patterns with the hanged man here too. Again, having to kind of shift out of that energy. So this could be your person um, and this could just be, or this could be the pattern of people that you've met before. And I feel like this is what's needing to shift is to be more open and be more receptive to the connection, to the friendship, to the moment. Um, and that's what I'm seeing. So let's confirm a little bit here. Because I'm noticing the nine of wands also at the bottom here. So again, there's a lot of guards up, kind of a feeling of being very apprehensive, being quite afraid or wounded, not sure how to 
Um, let the guards down is how someone's feeling. So Pisces, let's see. We have masculine still searching. We also have deep emotions. Yeah, guarded and patience. Yeah, this could be a kind of a complicated situation. For some of you, I'm picking up, we have betrayal and we have interference. The fact that we have the karmic relationship, and I did see the twin flame, just take it how it's going to resonate, but I feel like there has been maybe somebody, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's this person, but somebody has maybe been betrayed um, or feeling like this could happen again. They're very wounded. They're very guarded. You know, will this happen again? And I feel like in the meantime, there's an opportunity to either rebuild with the star and feel like we can bloom this romance again. We can get to know each other and it feels very promising, um, but someone feels like they are still healing from a karmic relationship or still healing from a breakup or you know just kind of sitting in this energy of not wanting to um, open up or having a hard time opening up and this may be the masculine for those of you who this is a new person this is somebody who may still be um, wanting to maybe get to know you or wanting to open up but having a hard time because of maybe a recent or past betrayal that has happened and so they're trying to focus on just themselves and making better choices in their own life so that they can be more open and available. But it could take some time for them. They could still be um, afraid of commitment here. For others of you, if this is somebody you already have been dealing with or in a relationship with, maybe something happened in the past. There could have been a betrayal between you both. Maybe a third party got in the way or some type of interference. And with the two of wands, someone is maybe you is feeling like you are still cautious of if you can trust this person again, can you really let this person in again? And so you've been trying to make healthier choices and trying to move forward in your own life, but there could be an opportunity for you to heal this connection, but there's guards up here. So that's kind of the situation I'm getting could be one of those two, but there's definitely been some type of karmic um, triggers here. We did see the mirror card too. So this person could mirror you um, or someone's kind of being reminded of their past by this connection. Pisces, let's see. We have freedom. we have impossible yeah we have little black book secrets nostalgia and heart flutters hmm so again I feel like there's this heart flutters I like you the star so two people who do like each other or or meeting somebody who you both like each other um, what is this marriage about? It could be a marriage involved. What is this here for the for this here? Transformation and we have take the risk. Yeah, so taking the risk after a pause, after a temporary delay, red light. So the hanged man is a delay, the two of wands is a delay. So basically what I see here is that there is going to be a change, a transformation with the hanged man in reverse. Um, I want to look a little bit more to confirm it because it seems like it's going to result in this, you know, savoring the moment, meeting, friendship. But for some of you, um, there might still be somebody who's running here. Yeah, confusion. It's like there's still confusion here. Let's see. Pisces. Hmm. 
We do have boundaries. Yeah, again, clear boundaries, healthy choices, self-indulgence, shadow work, self-appreciation. That seems like what this is this whole thing is about. We have chemistry here. So once again, you know, I like you. Romance is blooming. It's an interesting energy because I feel like there is this feeling of having a spark with somebody or having a, an attraction or you're going to be meeting this person. And the star is very promising. The star is very hopeful. And the star comes after the tower. So it's usually after we've gone through this maybe betrayal or ending and someone's gone through an upheaval in their life. And it's like maybe there's a feeling of this spark being renewed. But I still see that there's boundaries needed. There's still a feeling of... of um, having clear lines and boundaries when it comes to this connection, maybe still being afraid of opening up. Um, so tell us about this over here, Spirit. We have retreat. Yeah, it's kind of a feeling of I feel for many of you, it's more so about just savoring the moment and maybe having to spend time on your own because it seems like there could be, I don't it doesn't feel like a one-sided love necessarily. It just feels like there's still going to be issues when it comes to reciprocating feelings. Like it says here, a lack of emotional balance, connection, and fulfillment, love and feelings are not being reciprocated, um, a lack of give and take. And we do have the runner here and this hanged man reverse. So I feel like um, still taking some time to retreat. Maybe something is impossible because of a marriage that could be. Maybe a marriage was involved or an ex-partner with the marriage here or the idea of marriage. So it seems like there's going to be a transformation happening. But from what I can tell, it's it's more about taking time again there's multiple storylines coming up for some of you this is also like a, a love triangle situation where this could be picking up on your person as well having to have boundaries when it comes to an ex-partner that could be only if you know about that that's a specific storyline but you know if somebody's been trying to intrude or get in the way of your connection i feel like this person could be trying to take the risk and be more you know, um, like I guess discerning about spending time on their own so they don't have to be mixed up in a connection or a situation that's not serving them anymore so that they can be led towards a more fulfilling type of connection, especially if you have kind of hit it off with this person or if you're if you're getting to know each other with the star here and I like you. That could be for, for some of you. But either way, it's going to be kind of a time to... Um, to soul search and to take it to take time to heal and recharge after whatever this uh, situation has brought to the table here. Again, receptive, open heart, and we do have this guarded and patient. So it's a hard time having an open heart. We have sidetracked, so something caused delays and distractions and and change here. sidetracked <laughs> yeah spiritual connection such an interesting energy because I feel like there's a whole lot going on it's like there is somewhere here a, a spiritual connection that's here you know two people who do share maybe a deep love for each other but it's like it was sidetracked or maybe it wasn't the right time when you met if it's a newer per newer person it wasn't the right time when you met um, or when you're trying to kind of further and, and move the connection forward it hasn't been the right time because of all these components um, and especially being guarded and afraid and maybe not being reciprocal to the connection um, if it's somebody from your past or someone you've already been dealing with then I feel like they may have gotten sidetracked away from this connection and um, still need to find themselves and they may, they may have withdrawn from you we have hoping so waiting expecting manifesting i feel like the outcome is going to be more fluid it doesn't it doesn't seem very like you know it's kind of going to be an open book to whatever's next 
it doesn't seem like it's going to be um, defined. It seems like this could be just a time where anything is possible here, Pisces. Again, you could just be hoping to maybe um, be, have a friendship or you could hope or someone's hoping that maybe you can you know, get to know each other a little bit more down the road um, after some time is, is taken. This could also be hoping to just, you know, meet someone new, kind of just be in the moment. That's what it feels like here. So let's see if there's anything else, Spirit Pisces, in this situation. Yeah, two of pentacles reversed. We have the fool. We have the six of cups reversed. And here's the tower. So like I said, this comes right before the star. And we do have the star over here. So it seems like this is... See, this fool's energy is very similar looking. Masculine still searching, kind of opening the arms and taking a leap of faith. Six of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, Page of Wands reversed, The Hanged Man. Yeah, I would say that if you're, we'll look more in the extended at this person, whoever they are, and kind of see how they're feeling about you. But I would say that there's there's a feeling of this lack of give and take here, again, with the Six of Pentacles reversed. You know, maybe there's been some juggling going on. There definitely could be third parties or interferences in this connection. And I feel like this is just going to take time. Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands, again, you know, somebody could be very in their head, um, wanting to pursue or wanting to move forward, but having a, a challenging time doing so and delaying the maybe action or communication with this hanged man again coming up and the Page of Wands in reverse. So it's going to be kind of a, again, like up in the air energy, I feel, but Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse, Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's like, again, having to kind of let go of what's been previously kind of in the past. Someone's been having a hard time with that. So what can you tell the viewer, Spirit, about what's next for them, the viewer? What do they need to know? I feel like there's going to be a leap of faith taken at some point, you know, with the Six of Wands. Like this person could, I guess, have the courage or the, yeah, the courage to, to move forward here with the hoping card, waiting, expecting, manifesting. But it's, it's like it's going to take time with this Eight of Swords. We have, I've never felt this way before. And we have almost there. Yeah, again, a love that can stand the test of time. Um, intense spiritual connection felt by both parties. Yeah, so there is an intensity here with the star, the I like you card. So the main thing I'm getting here for this reading, um, Pisces, is that there's a connection here, whether you know them or someone new, or you will meet this person who you both can probably stand the test of time when it comes to this this connection. You know, maybe because because there is this feeling of like, I've never felt this way before, six of wands. I really want to pursue this, even though it feels impossible, even though it feels like can it be possible maybe because there's a marriage involved or maybe someone's afraid here of marriage but I just feel like with this hoping card there's still a desire and a hope that things can work out and it's just going to be maybe savoring the moment and kind of keeping things open for right now is what I'm seeing so if you have someone that you know who this is it's like I feel like spirit saying that this can stand the test of time it's just going to take a completely new approach for you both or someone here if this is a newer connection um, may want to really give this a chance or you give this a chance as well um, after dealing with some things that they need to heal first so let's see if there's anything else here Pisces that you need to know
the timing was just not right for us. So we already have that come up here. We have, I wish I had treated you better. You were the best thing in my life. So if this is a past person or even just someone that you were getting to know and there was this, this attraction, this chemistry, this person just saying the timing was not right. They wish things were different. They wish they had treated you better um, because they felt like you were the best thing in their life, but they may have gotten sidetracked or kind of afraid of the whole thing. Um, but they're acknowledging that, that this was something and still is something that they may hope to like pursue. So I'm gonna take this over to the extended and we'll take a look at this person a little bit more, how they feel about you, what else they wanna say, their actions, and then we'll look at you as well, your own journey, and kind of just see what spirit wants you to know, uh, what's next for you. So thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces, um, and have a great rest of the day. Take care and lots of love.